Hey everyone, I hope you had a great weekend. This is both a longer term and short term message. Um, I'm first very pleased to uh, provide you with uh, updated performance reports uh, year to date. Um, our 12 month rolling written premium is up 7% and our 12 month rolling revenue is up 6.4% really so far outstanding performance and, and, and getting better and better with each month. The benefits division continues to contribute solidly to our bottom line performance, our growth with excellent revenue retention, and are continuing to pick up new opportunities um, day in and day out. As you know, I love to focus on retention. I think retention is the foundation upon which growth happens. Um, in personal lines, we are enjoying 92.5% client retention, 93.9% policy retention, 95.5% written premium retention, and 94.8% revenue retention. Really outstanding numbers. Commercial lines, very similar. We have 89.2% client retention, 91% policy retention, and thanks to the hard market and some upselling, we are seeing 100.71% um, written premium retention and 101.3% revenue retention. So uh, thank you for focusing on retention, for making those calls, um, definitely making a difference. I wanted to tell you a, a story here in the short term. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. Last week was rough. And it was a combination of, of everything, really. Um, very demanding clients. Frankly, poor performance on the part of some of our carrier partners, especially in the claim side. Um, and, and also being shorthanded. Um, and at the end of the rough week um, at just after closing on Friday, I had received an email from a very disgruntled new client of Chalmers and demanding a phone call. And so I um, didn't want them to wait. I didn't want this to um, preoccupy my entire weekend. So I made a call back, ended up uh, reaching the client at around seven o'clock on Friday night and really listened intently as I heard the client proclaim that they're confused about our service model. And frankly, when they do reach someone, they're not feeling that they're being understood. And, and frankly, because of that, they're feeling like their needs are being ignored. And there was a very, very high level of distrust and lack of confidence um, based on the recent interactions. Now, candidly, uh, for all of us who are so engaged and so fixated on providing that, that level of service, um, it was a very humbling and disappointing conversation. Yet, frankly, I'm extremely grateful for this valuable feedback. Um, for someone to take the time to reach out and talk it out. Um, and, and I'm more than ever committed to getting better. So a simple reminder that a few poor performances and poor experiences can cloud hundreds and hundreds of excellent interactions. This is the reality of the service business if you wanna be distinctive. It is incredibly important for us to treat our clients with respect, with gratitude, to listen to understand, to be resourceful, and to help solve problems. Because in doing this, we create trust and confidence, which frankly is everything uh, in our business. Jay Danzi is a Detroit, Michigan native, an author, and a brand influencer. 
And he says, your smile is your logo. Your personality is your business card. How you leave others feeling after an experience becomes your trademark. With each interaction, we should feed our belief and our core values and our purpose. And I think that's truly the essence of an exceptional client service experience. So to every member of, client, of, of Chalmers Nation, um, I'd like to ask you, what's your trademark? Take a look at the shout outs below. Um, I love when our coworkers are being recognized by clients and peers alike for helping others. I can't wait to see you at our summer outing on Thursday. In the meantime, um, let's get the job done. Let's have a great week, Chalmers Nation. Thank you.